1,600 cars per hour traveled the Eisenhower Tunnel over the holidays, a new record. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News. More than 77,000 total cars went through the Eisenhower Johnson Tunnels on Christmas and New Year's Day this winter. That's an all-time holiday record for 48 hours by nearly 1,300 vehicles. Last year, when Christmas and New Year's fell on Monday and Sunday, 75,800 vehicles traveled the tunnels. The winter before, when both days were true weekend holidays, traffic hit 71,000 vehicles. And yet, the single-day holiday record still belongs to December 30th, 2017, when 57,000 cars pass through the boars in 24 hours. That's nearly double the population of Summit County. Blustery winter weather closed Loveland Pass yesterday, leading to backups on I-70 at the tunnels. How do Silverthorne police manage winter weather on one of Summit's busiest corridors? Ryan Highland with the town. Our roads just get overwhelmed, and so not having people waiting to get on the highway, they need to go to Target or the outlets or the recreation center, somewhere where they get out of the grid, they can wait, and, and we'll let folks know immediately when that opens. Highland knows exit 205 is a mess when I-70 shuts down. He drives that stretch too. but says controlling traffic into town is the best way to prevent interstate pileups. People don't like when that interstate is closed, but some of that proactive closure, I think, pays off. CDOT and Silverthorne PD are updating the I-70 travel management plan now. Expect more early closures and plowing in the future. Authorities today identified a 71-year-old skier who died yesterday at Breckenridge as William Hass of Northbrook, Illinois. He died of natural causes. Exact cause of death is pending an autopsy. He is the fifth inbound skier death of the season and seventh overall. On Saturday, a juvenile skier collided with an adult skier on Peak 6 and then fled the scene. The Summit County Sheriff's Office seeks information on the juvenile. The incident happened around 12.30 p.m. on Reverie Trail. The victim hit a tree before the juvenile and his father skied away. Called the sheriff's office with information. New information now from a fatal avalanche in the San Juan Mountains over the weekend. The CAIC reports one skier was killed when two slides trapped and carried a group of six total skiers. The group was part of an avalanche safety course. They triggered one slide, which released a second. The two converged, burying the deceased under seven feet of snow. Every year, 300,000 youth athletes suffer a traumatic brain injury, or TBI, and head injuries are the leading trauma at ski clinics. This week, in Crystal 93's Winter TBI Series... They're long-lasting. Your brain doesn't come back. Once brain cells are dead, they don't regenerate. That was Team Summit athlete Ellie Wheeler. The high schooler hopes to make the X Games someday and takes slope-style training seriously, including the effects of TBI. That's just scary, because with one fall, you could change everything. Wheeler has suffered two head injuries with Team Summit, a minor concussion at Copper and a seemingly minor concussion at Salt Lake City when training with an airbag. A lot of times I've been really amped up on adrenaline, so after the first initial shock wears off, then I'm kind of like, oh no, what just happened? Wheeler left the airbag with a headache, which turned to a migraine and blurry vision two days later. She spent several weeks off the snow. That's mandatory for most TBIs, but it wasn't always easy. It's a really sucky thought. Wheeler knows injuries are part of snowboarding, and she's learned to listen to her body. Each time I do hit my head, I'm a little slow to get up, trying to take inventory of, okay, does it hurt, or is it the initial shock of falling? Tune in again every Tuesday for the next installment in our Winter TBI series on Crystal 93. In sports, the Avalanche played the Jets tonight. Game time is 6 p.m. In World Cup ski racing news, Michaela Schifrin took second at an after dark slalom in Austria today. Slovakia's Petra Vlova took the win. World Cup men are off until this Saturday in Switzerland. Lindsey Vaughn also plans to compete again this weekend at Downhill in Austria. This past weekend were U.S. Ski Mountaineering team qualifiers at Sunlight outside Glenwood Springs. 14 Summit County locals qualified for the team, split between 4 adults and 10 youth. The final team is announced next week. Schema Worlds are this March in Switzerland. In local sports, brought to you by Deep Water Mountain, Inc., Summit High Boys and Girls Basketball open league play tonight when they host Glenwood Springs. This morning was race four of the Rise and Shine Rando Uphill Series at A-Basin, where Nikki La Rochelle won the women's title, beating 11 others, and David Glennon won for the men, topping a stacked field of 35. The next and final race in that series is January 22nd. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News.